Richard Burt out on track at the moment. Joshua Gill doing the navigational duties. This is a Turbo Extreme Stroke 3.4 litre Toyota Supra engine. And believe it or not, producing about 1,100 horsepower. Richard Burt just driving it very, very uh, docile at the moment, if you like. So Richard Burt, this is an A and B driven boat, Ruben Hoxima, the B driver. Richard Burt out on track at the moment. This uh, Supra engine certainly sounds coffee and spluttery, but I am told reliably that this is to be expected until they start really putting the foot into it. So that's a 64.363. I'll tell you, we've got all the superstars here down at Wanaka. Sir Peter Cowie, well he's not quite a sir yet, he hasn't been knighted, but uh, Peter Cowie, multiple world champion uh, from down here in the South Island, recently retired, so uh, he's just made his way down here. But keep an eye, ladies and gentlemen, on this bloke coming out next. This is Robert White, he's got his daughter Nicole sitting alongside him, the fisherman from Invercargill. Well, he's always been an exciting driver. He's certainly not scared of it. Loves getting up it, loves going hard and loves producing the best results under pressure. So Robert White, in his Q1 run, was very sedate. Got up it a little bit. Q2, it's like the man's never left a jet spring track. He's into it already. So great to see the fisherman from Invercargill just getting out and in amongst it after 18 months not being behind the wheel of a superboat. Wow, look at his daughter. So Nicole is a uh, well-accomplished equestrian rider here in New Zealand and around the world as well. So the family of champions out on water at the moment and looking the goods. Rotation sorted out by the look of things at the moment. Oh, Robert White powering it through. We'll get a time for you. Just waiting for that to come through on the computer. Fifty-four point six one two there for Robert White. That's his second rotation in eighteen months or more. Wow. We're going to see some big things from Robert and his daughter, Nicole, and it was a great run. So uh, just trying to cast the eyes down there. Yes, it will be Glenn Head coming out next. Haley Todd doing the navigational duties. These guys leading the championship in the unlimited category by one point only. Haley Todd, the radiographer, Eltham Window Systems and Lucas Oils on board. This twin turbo, 400 cubic inch, 1,750 horsepower. So Glenn Head, he's a former world champion in this unlimited category. Took last season off due to some pretty serious back surgery. Now back on track here. Looking the goods at the moment. All oh, very untidy through that uh, chicane, through the, that middle part of the course. He'll tidy that up, but he'll be well aware of that. So Glenn Head already just starting to get up it. Believe me, this is all well, plenty of water just going over the bow around the rock gas roundabout at the top part of the course. Glen Head, oh, 52.190. Starting to bring these times down. This is only qualifying round number two. 59.19, uh, 52.190 there. Yeah, the uh, interesting, the weather conditions here today, the forecast is for a little bit of rain later this afternoon. So I think be given that it is the final round of the championship, the smart teams, the ones with the chance of an overall podium position for the national series are starting to post some quick times nice and early. Just in case the event gets called, I doubt that it will be final round. We want to see it to its full 
climax to its full end. So uh, it'd be interesting to see what the ideas are, what the plans are for each of these teams as they go through the weekend. Kevin Roberts and Kendra Death out on track at the moment. This is a Nissan Twin Turbo, 1500 plus horsepower. And Kevin Roberts and Kendra Death just not having any confidence in this rotation at the moment by the looks of things. Because when Kevin stands on this, it, uh, well, it fires like a dog shot in the bum. So the Stinger boat, the Foxton Flyer, Roberts contracting. Kendra Death, the uh, paint shop supervisor for Toyota New Zealand. The rotation seems to be okay. They'll develop confidence out of that. So Kevin Roberts now across the line with a 108, 108.422. Scott Donald will be the next boat out in Wicked 2. Scott Donald, the farmer from Featherston. It's a new package for Scott and Nicole for the 2019 Mouth Fresh Superboat Series season. So uh, they've been just creeping up on it throughout the season. Got the head around the boat. So great to see that that has been going well for them. Out of the hole just a little bit quicker this time. They got the rotation okay during qualifying round number one be just another rotation get this well sorted out so nine super boats here today scotty donald well aware of that all he needs to do is just qualify and he will get into that top nine well thought out process to get and to uh, realise that, don't need to push it too hard in the early part of the day. Risk blowing an engine, risk falling off the track, and they've gone the wrong way. They have realised that Scotty Donald's now back on the path correct. Just went one channel too early. We've heard that about him. Sometimes he goes a bit early. Fast part of the track now for the team from Wicked 2. Scotty Donald there uh, with a... We'll have to just reset the clock on that because he went through the loop a couple of times. So we'll get back to you on that one. Scotty Donald. Well, we'll get back to you with the time on that one. So uh, just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes as the boats go through the start-finish loop more than they're really supposed to, and obviously that happens during an incorrect rotation, it upsets the timing. So sometimes we've got to hit a few buttons to get the right time up. Oh, we'll get back to you on that one. So it is uh, Baden Gray coming out next with Darren Todd, the Vickers Aircraft Company Machine. So Darren Todd, the one-eyed navigator, Baden Gray got an ear infection today, so he's not hearing too well. So apparently they've got a third passenger in this boat today, Baden or Darren. Apparently got a bit of Gilbert Grape going on and, uh, well, adding a little bit of weight to the boat. So uh, the old cream that is required has been used fairly liberally throughout the course of the day. Those of you who understand what I'm meaning will get it. Those who don't won't. And that's OK because I'm not prepared to extend that any further at this point of the day. But, oh, just grab the inside of the uh, that bank there by the look of it. It was a really interesting bow wave pressurising through there. So the Vickers aircraft machine of Baden Gray with a 55.980, 55.980. 
The time that Scotty Donald set was a 66.299. Sorry, 66.229. So Baden Gray in that twin turbo, looking the goods out there for his qualifying round number two run. Should be expecting the mouth fresh machine of Rob Coley to face the starter in just a minute, just trying to cast my eye down onto the ramp there. That is the poison ivy machine coming off the trail of the man up against the Eltherm machine. Mouthfresh versus Eltherm is how it's going to be working today for the overall championship, but also the round uh, the round championship as well. So this is Rob Coley, Ange Coley, his wife, sitting in the navigator's chair. The 600 cubic inch small block has been known to uh, have some decent sort of offs over the years. He's known as Mad Dog, Sir Rob the Third. Plenty of nicknames associated with this pair. Mouth fresh out of the blocks now. Oh, went a little bit deep. But uh, Rob Coley sir, just gone the wrong way. Okay, went out with a little bit of aggression, too early on the aggression. So you saw him come out of the blocks really, really quickly. They'll just reset the thought process here and effectively restart this lap again. No, he needed to go left there. They've just got themselves completely wrong at this part of the lap. I dare say Rob will come right round to the bottom. No, he's continuing on with it. So Rob and Ange Coley in their first run did post a time and now Just trying to work out if they're back on course again at the moment. So looking at our uh, rotational experts here, well, to be fair, the, uh, the two blokes up here have never done this before, but doing a wonderful job. So he's back on track again now. So a long way to go from here for Rob Coley. It takes a fair bit of thought, concentration, experience and skill to get back on the rotation proper after you make an early rotational error early in that run. And uh, Rob Coley looks as though he's got it. So uh, we'll have to get back to you on that one. All right, we will have to get back to you uh, with Rob and Ange. There is a suspicion that there's something wrong with that transponder because we got the first lot of loops up and then all of a sudden the transponder not uh, providing the information that we require up here, all these electronic gremlins. You know what, I reckon that we should really think about having a stopwatch, they're always pretty handy. Or an hourglass. Yeah, well either that or we might start going one cat and dog, two cat and dog, three cat and dog and then we'll just call it, that was a 53 and a cat. All right, it is Ruben Hoxima and Jacob Wood. They got a DNF in their first run, got the rotation wrong, and he's got the rotation wrong straight out of the box. They were too busy having a look at the wonderful view that the Oxbow Aqua Track here at Wanaka has to offer. They were too busy staring at the mountains and not concentrating on the lap at hand. So uh, Ruben will come back and need to go there left, young man. To the far side, keep pointing forward, that's it. Right over there, round to your left. All right, back on rotation proper for Reuben. Father Eric and Uncle Albert up there in Palmy North just watching on the live stream and just going, oh, my God, and talking to one another about how good they were about 4,800 years ago. A big shout out to you, Eric. Hope the uh, knee's coming coming good again go on Reuben right hey, just get this rotation right mate we want to see you start putting your foot into it it's an interesting uh, trip down for these guys they came down with a couple of mates and at some point uh, during the course of their travels down to the South Island uh, one of the boys in front put his foot on the brakes 
The other bloke put his foot on the brake. Someone ran up the back of one of them and pushed him into the other one, and they've come down here with two ding cars. So uh, certainly uh, an interesting combination there. And uh, Ruben, because he got it wrong as well, we need to reset that situation somehow as well. Matt Manell coming up here to have a bit of a chat with us. That will, the 103 that we see on the screen is not the right time because he's re-gone through that timing loop again. Matt Manell might need to sit in the commentary tower on a full-time basis. The way this is going at the moment. 137 and some change there for Ruben Hoxima. That rounds out qualifying round number two for our unlimited category. We're going to reset our clocks and go qualifying round number three across all three classes for the final round of the Mouth Brush Jet Sprint Championships 2019 style. We'll be back in a minute.